Welcome to another tutorial video by the Sight Lady at thesightlady.com, also known as Fernwood Computer Services, but we will be phasing that out so in the future look for videos by the Sight Lady. Today we will be cropping or cutting down photos in Photo Filter 7. If you do not have Photo Filter 7, which is a free program, you can find out how to download that in Episode 1 and that link is at the bottom of this video. So to start our tutorial, the first thing we need to do is go get a photo that we would like to crop down. Go to File and Open. Let's find our photo in our photo folder, which could be on our desktop or in my documents. Click on it, click Open. And here we have a bird on a post. And I would like to cut just the bird out and he is my subject. Leave all this other stuff out. Look to your right and you will see a color palette, some selection tools, and also some shapes. We want to make sure that we are on this selection tool which looks just like your cursor. So you will see that it has a little white box around it which means it's selected. And then we will choose our shape. We have some common shapes which are the rectangle or square because we can adjust that to be a square, a circle, triangle, diamond, and some other more advanced shapes that we won't be covering in this tutorial because they're more advanced for cutting out things in detail and a lot of hand-eye coordination that is just not suited for a beginner. Okay, let's choose the square since it is the most common. And what I want you to do is just come right outside your subject and click with your left click and hold it down. And if you've ever drug anything across your desktop, this is the same principle. If not, hold it down and let's start pulling down, dragging down, dragging down, holding our mouse and moving our mouse as the box opens, it looks like a line, so we need to start moving the box over, dragging it out, dragging it out, dragging it out, until our subject is in the middle of our box. So now right click in any space and choose Crop Image with the left click. And you see our bird now is the only thing left in our photo. But I'd like to show you how to do a circle and then you can use those same principles on any of the other shapes. So if we had made a mistake or if we just want to go back and try a different shape we go up here to our undo tool which is the backwards red arrow this will help us go back to our original. So click that, undo, we're back to our original. So now let's choose the circle. This is the same principle. Start outside your circle. I'm sorry, start outside your subject. Hold down your left click. Hold it down. Move your wrist and your mouse. Drag it down. Drag it down. It looks like a line. Start moving to the right and over your subject. Now you can make this bigger. I'm just cutting it way down on our subject. You'll see that that square is also around there. But he is in our circle. So what we want to do now, right click and then go down left click on crop your image. You see he's in a circle. So now we're going to save our bird. We're going to file, save as, always save as because if you just hit save you will overwrite your original. And you don't want to do that because you might want to go do back and do other things with that original. So let's name our bird and let's save as type and this is defaulted to JPEG which is correct for the internet such as Facebook, email, and web pages, light, and used almost always in places like that. If you were doing this for publication which would mean something like a newspaper or advertising you may use one of these other formats usually whoever you're sending it to will have their own specifications we want JPEG click Save now our compression box comes up 
You see the slider at the top which says low quality, best quality, compression 90. Because PhotoFilter is a free program, because it does not have support or very many tutorials and no one can help us if we destroy our image, we want to leave that slider alone because that can do a lot of things to your photo that you might not be able to fix. So let's go down to the next things which are standard and progressive. Because we're saving this in internet format, because we're saving it as JPEG, the documentation says that progressive is the best selection. So I have that selected. If you'd like your bird to be in grace to scale like black and white, an old time photo, you can click that. The next one is preserve EXIF. EXIF is camera language. It talks about when you took the picture, what kind of camera you used. But you have to have a special program to even see the data. So it's not really useful in just everyday applications. You can leave it checked or unchecked. It does not matter. Click OK. Now we've saved our bird picture that has been cropped into a circle and we can do some things with it. This is the end of this tutorial. Remember to come to the sitelady.com we have articles on several things. We have started a product review. We hope you'll join in. And thanks again.